my name is Noemi El Cote and I am a landscape painter. This is my studio buddy called Coco. It's lovely to have all the time. Um, so my profession is to create art. I create paintings with um, oil paint on canvases as you can see behind me and the subject is always landscape. I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself, of how I started to create art. I created art as a kid. I really noticed it when I was living in Africa and observing nature. And I remember being young and looking at the rose bushes and really seeing how the, the leaves or the petals fold in the shadows and how beautiful that was. And I would sketch and sketch and sketch and that's how I noticed and how the love for art, for drawing all sorts of art forms at a young age. I continued that throughout my life. Uh, right away as a child I did a whole bunch of different arts, uh, visual arts, painting, I did sculpture, I went to theater, I went to music, and that continued throughout my life. I specifically paint landscapes, so the land, um, and also the clouds and the waters, etc. And the reason is because I feel so connected to the land. I'm always awed by the trees. I love big, big, beautiful pine trees. Um, even the grasses, the leaves, the shapes, the colors. But besides the visuals, besides all the shapes and colors, it's really the feeling that I get, the connection that I get with the land. Um, I feel most peaceful and most grounded. I find, I feel my purpose in life when I'm in nature, enjoying it and just being part of it all. It's, um, you get out of your head, you get out of your mind and you have a bigger picture of your whole life and the purpose of life. Um, and I love to, to paint that subject, right? And I feel the most connected to it. I've always been into art and all different types of art. As a career, actually, before being a fine arts um, painter, I was doing graphic design. So coming out of school and college, I went to the visuals, but through the computer, and I had a great career in it. A great way to express myself, a composition in different ways, more in marketing and advertising. But there's something in me that, hitting close to the 40s, I really wanted to reconnect to my fine arts, and I took the move, did the bold move, and went for my passion and I'm just thrilled and enjoying and it's, and it's going so well. Um, I feel so on purpose and that brings so much joy um, in creating the art and, and hopefully for the people that collect the art. Not only am I motivated in, in expressing something in me through art, it's I love business. I really love marketing because my background is, is also in marketing, graphic design marketing. I love being an entrepreneur, um, finding something I love to do that other people relate and marketing it and connecting with people. Really it's connecting with people, with people that, um, that appreciate what I do. The whole running a business and the whole marketing is so fun. I really do love it. So that's part of the motivation is I'm creating a baby, I'm creating this vision, this business for myself and going out there and making it work. Um, it's, like, it's like having a child. You, you feed it, you nourish it, you take care of it and it grows and, and I'm really proud of it and I'm very motivated. I'm up every morning this is, and, I, and I love my job, I call the job because really it's, it's a lifestyle and I love my life. What excites me most about painting is that it's a challenge. It's, it's pushing myself um, I do love what, being in the flow and when things are working out, that's the most exciting. It's when things are flowing and I'm like, I take a moment and you step back, you look away and you look back at it, you're like, damn, this is looking good. Like I, I'm on, I'm on par, like this is working how I envisioned it. And funny enough, what I envisioned at first, it's, I don't have the visual in my head. It's really a feeling and part of my process is, um, 
is creating visuals on the computer because of the background graphic design to visualize it and bring it to the painting. Um, it's being on the flow and sometimes it's little challenges and that's all part of life and that's how you push further and get better in your technique or color combination, texture. And, yeah. Truly, any entrepreneur but, and also especially in art because it seems to have a stigma that you know you're a starving artist and it took me a while but I finally got that old stigma out of my mind and went for it. Um, it's really for all entrepreneurs and artists just to believe in yourself that yes is a place for you. Yes you can do it and and most important what was for me is that yes I'm worthy and I deserve it. I deserve success. I deserve to to do what I love and succeed at the same time. There is no space to be a struggling artist. It's to be a successful artist. The way I work and create my commissions is really a great understanding between uh, each other, working together and creating something very special for you. Um, it's a personal piece of artwork. So there'll be some Zoom calls or face-to-face -face people from the day, phone calls, emails, to figuring out the perfect size for your room, the right subject, uh, sketching back and forth, you know, you, you, you're there you're at every step, approval of the sketch, approval of the color palettes, you know, finding the right colors that you love that will fit your decor that inspires you, and creating a custom piece of artwork for you that is meaningful, um, that fits perfectly For, for your family and for generations to come. Like, what a beautiful gift for yourself and, and potentially for somebody else. This scene is actually from Quebec. It's uh, from my father's view from his cottage and I absolutely love it. You'll see how maybe there's a bit of a, there's a zigzag, the water keeps going, um, the, it's near Lac Simon. What I love about it is always the trees. I love the big pine trees here. And further away, how they peek around here, the movement. So I look forward to showing you guys the ending, where there's a lot of movement in the clouds and the water. to show it to you soon, go to my website and you'll see the beautiful finished piece.